Hi, and welcome to the show, Buzz, with a look at what's in theaters this weekend. With a slew of week releases on tap, look for the Lorax to continue its golden run at the box office. <laughs> Universal's animated feature pulled in 70 million bucks last weekend. Original estimates for its opening put the 3D film at just 40 million. And what would you do if your life depended on shutting up? Probably comply. That's just what Eddie Murphy must do in a thousand words. You know you make me wanna... He plays a fast-talking literary agent who slights a new age guru, who in retaliation plants a magic tree that drops leaves every time Murphy opens his mouth. With only 1,000 leaves on the tree, Murphy's character must come up with some novel and sometimes outrageous ways to communicate to avoid his own demise. And if you're looking for the flashes of brilliance we saw from Eddie Murphy in Tower Heist, you'll be in for a disappointment. There are none in a film where the premise is as ridiculous as the result. And from Disney comes the action fantasy John Carter, based on a hundred-year-old novel. Taylor Kitsch plays a crusty Civil War hero who finds himself mysteriously marooned on Mars. There, he's discovered by Willem Dafoe, who plays the leader of a group of lizard warriors caught up in a war of their own. Receiving mixed early reviews and opening three months ahead of its original release date, you can catch the action in 3D and IMAX. And watch out for what some are saying will be the biggest moneymaker of the summer. A newly released action-packed trailer for The Avengers features all your favorite Marvel superheroes coming together to save the Earth from complete annihilation. Can't wait for that one. And that's the buzz. Stay with CBSNews.com for all your latest entertainment headlines. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.